Give me a damage report, Talos. Please wait a moment. External armor breached. Main generator damaged. Communication functions down. Self-recovery function unavailable. How about mobility? Can we return to the Ark? Mobility feasible. However, insufficient power to return to the Ark. Give me our options. There are two courses of action. One, prioritize the pilot's safety and weight. Two, prioritize the body's safety and weight. Let's go with option one. Command confirmed. Maintaining only jamming and distress signal generation functions. Switching to sleep mode. Please wait until rescue arrives. Okay. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Another test failure. What is this, the 21st time? At this rate, the project is liable to be scrapped at any moment. Hmm. I'll have nowhere to go again. I really hate that. What do you think, Talos? How many more chances do you think I have left? Never mind. I better get some sleep. Your, your Highness, look at this! What is this? It doesn't look... human. It, it's a robot, and a massive one at that. What's it used for? Hmm... It doesn't seem to be mobile. It's most likely meant for decoration. Decadent? I don't think it's that fancy. Not decadent, your highness. It's a decoration. Ah, indeed. Well done, Chime. I was testing you. But of course, after all, I am your loyal subject. Tell me, what precisely is the purpose of a decoration? Hmm... When I speak of decoration, I'm referring to things that basically serve no purpose other than taking up space. I see. But think about it, your highness. Wouldn't it do wonders for our kingdom's prestige if we were to flaunt this giant hunk of metal? Indeed. It could appear most imposing to our enemies as well. Let's take it with us. Let's. Let's see. If we grab it from here... Okay, let's have Trom drag it along. We shall press on without delay. Huh? What's all this shaking? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Vibration? Are we moving? What the? Where are we going? G give me a status update, Talos. Talos, wake up! Oh no, 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 no! If we're not careful, things could spiral out of control even more! Okay, once we stop, I'll reactivate Talos and assess the situation. I'll figure out whether it's fight or flight, though I don't think we're completely surrounded by raptures. Okay. <sighs> I've just got to stay calm. Calm down. Where in the world are we going? W we stopped. I don't see any raptures. Phew. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Talos, wake up. Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Activate all monitors and scan our surroundings. Determine whether to engage in combat or escape, and then execute. Reassessing priorities. Recommend sightseeing in the area. Ah. Uh, what? Is that... a... castle? What's something like that doing here? Ah! Your Highness! The decoration we brought back is moving! <gasps> it's a Nikkei! Oh, what a relief! 
Are you some kind of rapture? Wait! Don't shoot! Y Your Highness, the rapture is talking. What are you hollering about, Chime? L look, Your Highness, the d decoration, nay, the robot, I, I mean the rapture, is talking. Hmm, you, can you talk? Uh, yeah, uh, sure I can. Actually, I'm a Nikkei myself. Don't lie to us. You don't look like any Nikkei I've ever seen. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. I recommend you make yourself known to them. Oh, good idea. W wait just a sec. Talos, open cockpit. Hmm. I... Uh, I'm Kilo, of the Heavy Gram Squad. Who are you two? What's a Nikkei doing inside a robot? Oh, well, you see, I, uh, pilot this robot. It's called Talos. I was in the middle of conducting a test on the surface when things went haywire, so I've been waiting for rescue. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Very well. We're the ones who rescued you. You are? Aye, that be the truth. We found you lost and adrift, and brought you back safely to our kingdom as part of the rescue effort. Uh, since you have received our grace and stepped into our domain, you are now a citizen of our kingdom. Uh, come again? You must realize that this is a great honor. Not just anyone can become a subject of this kingdom. Uh... I believe their actions are benevolent in nature. Cooperating could prove advantageous to our chances of survival. What's this? Are you rejecting our offer? Oh, oh, no, no, not, not at all. I'm, uh, really looking forward to it. Not there. I... I knew that. Listen well. Now that you are a citizen, you must work for the kingdom and its king. What do you mean by work? It's simple. You're to venture beyond our kingdom's walls and bring back whatever seems useful. What? I'm supposed to go out and collect junk? It's not junk. We are giving long-forgotten objects a renewed sense of purpose. To be a king is to infuse everything around you with purpose. That is my main goal. How come you're saying king and not queen? Because the king holds the highest position in the kingdom. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Of course, we do far more than merely scavenge items. If we encounter someone wandering the surface, we recruit them as our subjects. Recruit, you say? That's right. Our finding you was a very fortunate development, since we lost a valuable citizen recently. You are referring to the one in red? There is no need for sadness. Perhaps we will meet her again. Okay. I get that this is your kingdom crowns the king, and chimes the royal aid. But where are all these so-called uh, citizens? We have you, don't we? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. But w when you throw around words like kingdom, I just expected more people. Chime, how many subjects are there in our kingdom at the moment? 82, including Kilo. That many? But I don't see anyone. They're up on the surface conducting expeditions for the kingdom. I have enacted no law that mandates citizens to remain inside the kingdom. It comprises 12 clauses in total. Though challenging to memorize with some effort on your part, it is certainly possible. Uh, okay, I'll get right on that. 
So, are all the citizens Nikkeis? Well, no, they're not. The birds flying in the sky, the fish swimming across the ocean, the horses galloping across the prairie. Everyone who has received the grace of the kingdom is a citizen. Oh, I see. Huh? Uh, uh, wait a moment, I think there's something weird with Talos. Talos? Oh, yes, the robot you rode here on. Now that you mention it, I have a few questions pertaining to that robot. Just a moment, uh, give me five minutes to check the cockpit. Talos, wake up! Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Let's blow this joint. These cult weirdos are giving me the creeps. Shall I set the escape route to the Ark? Yes, do it. Power reserves are currently insufficient to reach the Ark. How much do we need? Such a journey would require a full charge. If we utilize the battery provided by the self-proclaimed king and the royal aid, a full charge will require 17 hours. Forget all that. This place is Cuckoo Bananas. We've got to get out of here pronto. I do not recommend such a course of action. The surface is a dangerous place. So you're suggesting I should stay with these weirdo Nikkeis? Surely that can't be safe either. This location appears to have significant signal jamming capabilities. Raptors will be unable to detect us. Given the current number of people present, this is a safe location. <sighs> After analyzing the conversations that have transpired, I do not believe these individuals pose any threat. I recommend that you ingratiate yourself with them. Fine, forget it. Enter sleep mode. Command confirmed. Switching to sleep mode. Did you figure it out? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me more about this robot? Oh, Talos is... Ah! What is that sound? I set an alarm because I didn't want to miss my meal time. <laughs> oh, um, it's fine. I, I can just skip eating. It's time to eat. Perfect timing. It's lunchtime for us as well. But, Your Highness... You ate two hours ago. N nevertheless I cannot allow one of our citizens to go hungry. This is very true. It is my turn to cook, so I will go and prepare. Um, actually, you went last time, so it shouldn't be your turn. Then, whose turn is it? It's... Marion. Ah! Oh. Let's... This battle's finished. Moving on. Oh my! This is the first time we've had a guest in the kingdom. Hello. My name is Marion. Hey there. I I'm Kilo. Wow. Hmm. Sorry, but it's just that you've got this mystical aura about you. <laughs> is that so? Thank you. Are you a citizen of this kingdom as well? Of course. For now, that is. She has someone who will come for her soon enough. So you could say she is a temporary subject. Ephemeral in nature. Your vocabulary has grown even more impressive, Your Highness. <laughs> but of course. Uh... Shall we eat? I've prepared a little something here for you. <sighs> um... What's wrong? No, no, it's nothing. Go ahead. Thanks for the grub. Hmm? Huh. <sighs> um, I know we've just met, so I apologize if I cause any offense, but do you happen to have any spare parts lying around? Talos could use them. Huh? 
What are you talking about? Maybe it's just me, but the food looks like a bunch of spiders. <laughs> Big hairy tarantulas, to be specific. That's correct. I've prepared spiders for today's meal. What? Hmm? Uh... Ah, I see what's troubling you all. You're not quite sure how to eat them. Here, let me show you. You simply hold the body, then pop it into your mouth all at once. Come on, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? Just because I'm not as familiar as you all with the surface doesn't mean I'm clueless. Uh, what? You're actually eating it? Is this the kind of stuff you eat up here on the surface? No, that's gotta be fake. This is all some kind of prank, isn't it? Are these things even supposed to be edible? Okay, fine. Uh, how do I do it again? Just grab it and put it in my mouth? Like this? She fainted. Oh. oh my, really? You two go ahead and eat. I'll go put her to bed. Oh, no, no, you mustn't inconvenience yourself so. Allow me. As the king, it is my solemn duty to care for my citizens. Now, now, both of you just stop it. She simply needs a little rest. So let's carry on with our meal. Uh, oh, let's dig in. Uh, go on then, Chime. Eat up. Oh no, your highness. Surely the king deserves the lion's share of the meal. No, no, you've been working so hard, so it's only fitting that you partake. <laughs> it warms my heart to see you both care so deeply for each other. Here, let me feed the both of you. Open wide. Uh, uh, say, ah, ah. A room? I must have zonked out. <laughs> Gosh, I had some, some terrible nightmare about eating spiders. Talos, wake up. Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Can you get in contact with the Ark? It is feasible if we are outside the kingdom's boundaries. Then head out and contact the Ark ASAP. Inform the Ark that there are three pilgrims here. Do you not wish to relay the information about the heretic? What? I have detected the presence of the heretic Modernia. Wait. <gasps> you mean that Modernia? The one who's wanted in the Ark? The one who became a heretic and then turned back into a Nikkei? That is correct. It appears she is going by the sober gate to Marion here. Talos, contact the Ark at once. If I return to the Ark with such prized information, the higher-ups are sure to... Understood. Moving out now. You're up. Oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. Oh. Oh, no. I it's okay. Who were you talking to just now? Nobody. I talk to myself sometimes, that's all. Ah. <laughs> I have that habit myself. I talk to myself whenever I get a chance. I talk about wanting to see those dear to me and protect the ones I'm grateful for. I see. That's why I've made a vow to myself. If ever someone dares to harm those dear to me, I will do everything in my power to make them pay. <laughs> no matter what it takes, I take it you understand what I'm getting at. <sighs> Talos, delay that order. Roger. All orders rescinded. On standby. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, you should get some more rest. Would you like me to get you something to eat? Uh, no, that's okay. Okay. If you need anything, please let me know. <sighs> Phew. That was close. May the Creator bless us! Mm -hmm. 
Reloading. Wait a minute. my first time eating food from up on the surface. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the different ingredients? It's not just that. But rather it's because I was the one who cooked it. Your culinary skills are improving by the day, Chime. You flatter me, your highness. So, Marion, what's on the schedule for today? Nothing special on my end. It's been a bit blustery the past few days, so I was thinking about raking up some leaves. I need to show Kilo the ropes. So I was thinking of taking her outside the kingdom. Excuse me? Didn't I explain it to you yesterday? We have to leave the kingdom and gather useful things. Outside the kingdom? Huh. Um, is there any chance I can stay here? Talos hasn't fully recovered yet. Oh no, I won't hear any of it. In this kingdom, you must earn your keep. Crown, will you be joining them on the excursion outside the kingdom today? It is a king's duty to observe their citizens as they carry out their duties. I would be happy to accompany them. Oh, you'll be joining us? What an honor! Ah, uh... We should set off at once. I'll stay here and wait for your return. So that robot of yours is a means to stay on the surface for an extended period? Yeah, that's right. It uses the same core as Nikkei's for power, so it lasts a while. But it does need to be recharged from time to time, though. It's covered in a layer of nano machines, so it's capable of minor self-repairs. The built-in AI system is capable of numerous functions. That's all well and good, but I presume its ammo reserves are limited? The amount of time it could last up on the surface would be limited. Actually, it's equipped with a 3D printer that's capable of creating its own ammunition out of various materials. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why are you two looking at me like that? You are quite talented. Our kingdom could use someone like you. Are you sure you're talking about... Can any other Nikkei's commandeer this robot? Are you sure you're talking about me? No, that honor is mine alone. Huh, that's too bad. Anyway, let's get to work. All you need to do is search this area and pick up anything that looks useful. How do we determine what's useful or not? Batteries take the highest priority, followed by electronic devices. That's then followed by metal and wooden materials. What do you use all those for? Various things here and there. Batteries and electronic devices are always in short supply. And the other materials can be used to maintain the kingdom's upkeep. How do you mean? The kingdom was originally a fortress on an artificial island that was used as a tourist destination. It has been in a state of disrepair for some time now. Okay, I'm getting it now. But how do you go about collecting all this stuff exactly? Just by sight? Precisely. Such labor is necessary if you want to get what you want. On particularly fruitful days, I come back with both hands full. Now, let's proceed on our route. Wait just a moment. <laughs> Talos, scan for any batteries and electronic objects within a two kilometer radius. Only show results for objects that still retain more than half of their functionality. Understood. Scan complete. 42 objects detected. Good. Let's move. What are you doing? Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. Hey, what are you doing? That's dangerous. Oh, just be a minute. Oh! No, 
way. Talos scanned the area, and this is what we turned out. It's just a basic function, but still. Impressive. This is enough to last us for an entire week. <laughs> it sure is. Seems we'll have some free time on our hands in the near future. We appreciate you doing this for us, Kilo. Sure. Don't mention it. Do you see where these bricks have fallen off? After filling this with the mortar, it just needs to be smoothed out. The castle walls are quite old, so we've got to fix them right away. Otherwise, it could be dangerous. Not only would it be unsafe, but it would also tarnish the kingdom's reputation. In that case... Talos, scan the gaps between the bricks. We'll use the 3D printer to make pieces that fit the openings. Use this mortar as the material. Understood. Material created. These should fit into the gaps nicely. They, they fit perfectly, like a glove. This is absolutely incredible. You're truly a citizen of the highest order. Huh. Good. Let's go. I want to go home. Uh, it would have been nice to play around with them for a bit longer. I'm absolutely stunned. You're simply incredible, Kilo. Scavenging for materials and transporting them, repairing the castle walls... There's nothing you can't do! <laughs> Talos is remarkable as well, especially its smooth chest. <sighs> I heard that the castle walls have been greatly reinforced thanks to you two. That's not all. The long-awaited defense system is finally nearing completion. What defense system? We're going to be installing defensive weapons atop the castle walls. Um, I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but aren't those weapons terribly outdated? All we have are cannons, catapults, and the like. Are those really capable of doing any damage to raptures? Don't you worry. Thanks to Talos, we were able to equip ourselves with the latest cutting-edge weapons. We can handle the raptures and then some. Wow. Are they truly that powerful? You bet they are. We were given everything from the blueprints to how to operate them. Thankfully, the kingdom had a lot of materials gathered, so it worked out. However, they're still makeshift weapons and will require constant upkeep to remain operational. Yes, yes, who cares? The important thing is that the fortifications are complete. Thanks to this fine duo, we have ourselves a bona fide stronghold. Well done, Kilo. Keep it up. Oh, um, sure thing. Speaking of, uh, could you take a look at this? It's a versatile device that can grab just about anything with ease. How do you operate it? It's a prototype, so you'll have to wait before I can give you a proper demonstration. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna head to bed. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Sleep well. Ah. Uh, ah. <sighs> you know that mess of wiring I was struggling with for an entire week? She fixed it all in one fell swoop. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think that girl's meant to be here. Hmm. Talos? Wake up! Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Tell me what will happen if I stay here. Shall I proceed with the ultimate objective, being an escape to the Ark? Yes. This place is safe, but the environment is unforgiving and cannot be considered a civilized place like the Ark. Commodities are scarce, and the infrastructure is below the standards you usually expect. However, due to the jamming systems integrated into the castle wall, this place remains relatively safe despite being on the surface. 
You will prove to be a useful asset in this place. It will exert a significant influence on you and grow increasingly reliant on you. Go on. You will oversee key tasks for the kingdom, such as scavenging, repairs, and manufacturing. As a result, you will become a key figure without whom the kingdom cannot function. Does that mean I can establish myself here? That is correct. I see. Sleep mode. Command confirmed. Switching to sleep mode. A key figure. Hmm. That would be you, not me. Raptors are no fun. I don't like them. Loading. Be more efficient. This battle's finished. Moving on. Kilo, this thing you brought us, what's it used for? It's a foot massager. Ah, oh, I see. I've heard of such devices before. You have? Stay right where you are, Your Highness. Let me give you a massage. <laughs> How kind of you, Chime. It feels wonderful. Anytime. We really appreciate all you're doing for us, Kilo. Uh, it's nothing. I'm barely even doing anything. Huh? Hmm. Huh. This seems a bit complicated. One of the legs is completely shattered. Is it? Oh, my apologies. I'll prepare a new throne for you at once. Oh, I'm sure Talos can probably fix it. Hold on just a second. Really? There's truly nothing you can't do. You've no idea how fortunate we are to have you. <laughs> but there's one thing you need to keep in mind. Wh what's that? I'm the royal aide, and that is one role I cannot relinquish to you. Oh, um, sure. Kilo, can you help me carry this? Come and join us for a cup of tea, Kilo. We're not sure what tea this is, but it should be tasty. Would you look at that? The sunset at this hour is truly spectacular. Do you think there's any way to cook insects without anyone catching on? I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for always helping. <sighs> What's wrong? You haven't eaten properly for the past two days. Are you unwell? No, I'm fine. Hmm, Marion. How about a drink? It's been a while. What's the occasion? In honor of Kilo and to celebrate how well she's settling in. Okay, I'll bring some of the better wines. I've never tried alcohol before. There's nothing to it. Just treat it like you're drinking water. Oh, okay. Kilo? Kilo? Hmm, she's only had one drink a while ago, but she seems totally out of it. My alcohol tolerance isn't anything to write home about, but she's in her cups. <laughs> uh, would you like to head to bed, Your Highness? Absolutely not. As the king, it would hardly be appropriate for me to retire before <laughs> my subjects. Come on now, Kilo, get up. I didn't expect you to be so susceptible to alcohol. Okay, I admit it. Ugh. I can't do anything. I'm not good at anything. Not a damn thing. <laughs> oh my, you startled me. Do you know how many times I've been reassigned to a different squad? Huh, 32 times. 32. I somehow ended up with specs that are worse than a mass-produced Nikkei. I don't have any specialized abilities. So they keep tossing me around like a hot potato. 
eventually, I ended up becoming a pilot for Talos. But it just sounds way more impressive than it is. All I am is a tool. A device that makes Talos move. Do you understand what I mean? I'm worthless if I don't have Talos. <sighs> Why are you talking like this? You make it sound like you're useless. You are the finest citizen this kingdom has ever seen. There's no area in which you're lacking. Talos is the impressive one, not me. Talos did everything. What did I do? Without Talos, I'm nothing. There's no place I can call home. Nobody would dream of associating with me. Mm, woe is me. You're not a terribly fun drunk. Y your Highness! <sighs> Don't be upset. I'll calm Kilo down. Kilo. Does the spear I'm holding now look strong to you? What? Oh, y yes? Yes, it does. And what if I do this? Does it seem strong now, bereft of its owner? Yes, it does. Hmm. It shouldn't. Uh, I guess it doesn't look as strong now. Precisely. That's how it is. I don't understand. Oh. No matter how great the tool, it only becomes effective when wielded properly. Talos is only impressive because of your control over it. You're not just a spare part. You're crucial to what makes Talos remarkable. Huh. <sighs> You're the only one who can pilot Talos, isn't that right? You two are not separate entities. You are the same, linked as one. Kilo is Talos, and Talos is Kilo. Much like how the spear and I are one. But you're not holding the spear right now. Must you insist on quibbling over every banal detail? The lady is trying to teach you something. I'll take her to her room. If you would. <sighs> Initiating engagement sequence. them for a bit longer. Uh, my head is killing me. Are you awake? Huh? Mm. What did I ever do to deserve this? Kilo, do you need a place to be attached to? Wh what? Do you feel like you're lacking a place where you belong? Huh. Yes, I, I do feel that. Do you sometimes struggle to find your place in the world? Yes. Mm. I do too. Hang in there. Huh. Thank you. What is that? We have to move! Chime, what's going on? It's bad. R Raptures are heading straight for us. How many? A lot, and it's not like before. This time it seems intentional. They are clearly coming here to attack. We have to escape, Your Highness. Chime, have you forgotten? 
We must defend this place. But, but, raise the signal. Raise the signal? You mean you don't have a modern comm system? No, we don't. Right, because of the electronic jamming. But are you saying there are people out there who will come to our aid? That's what we're hoping for. Huh. Everyone prepare for battle. Activate the kingdom's defense system. We will also do our part to safeguard this place. Roger! But, but, I'm not fit for... You are nimble both in your movements and your judgment, Chime. I trust you'll grace us with both in the ensuing fight. I understand. Kilo, can you come with us? I'll, I'll try. There's no need to be afraid. Just stick close to me. We can't allow a single rapture into the kingdom. We have to defend this place no matter what. Yes! I... I understand. Put your trust in me and fight. I have faith in each and every one of you. We won't fail you. Look at that swarm of raptures. Talos, what are our chances of victory? 92%. What? We have the heretic Modernia and pilgrims on our side. This is a battle we will not lose. <sighs> Guess I got scared for nothing. I will send you all away. What is it? Yes? What is it? I won't disappoint you. I'm ready. Return to where you belong.
done, everyone. A job well done indeed. W we all hung in there. Perhaps the jamming power of the wall has weakened? This is the first time we've experienced such a large-scale rapture offensive. Hmm. I don't think that's the issue. Something else must be at play here. Hmm. Things are starting to get interesting. Agreed. When I decided to follow that rapture formation, I hardly expected to encounter such a classic structure. Classic? Shabby and dilapidated is more like it. You ought to appreciate aesthetic beauty more. Especially since you yourself are a work of art. Give me a break. Haven't you noticed? After consuming that fire dragon, your beauty has ascended to new heights. Your strength has increased exponentially. And your external features have also changed. I'm looking forward to seeing your metamorphosis as you consume more of your kin. I wonder, how much more striking will you become? Must you insist on referring to it as consuming my kin? Oh, pardon me. Perhaps you'd find consumption more preferable. At any rate, it seems some human imposters have settled in that fortress. Yes, although there are only a few of them, they seem quite organized. I couldn't confirm who they are due to the distance, but I'm guessing they are what the humans call pilgrims. It looks like I'll be able to quench my blade's thirst for blood soon enough. <laughs> My wounds from our previous encounter with them have since mended entirely. I'm very much looking forward to this. Are you planning on annihilating them all? Of course. Don't be a fool and use your head. What? They're residing in a run-down castle that in itself possesses no value. They fought tooth and nail to defend a worthless place that they should have ditched ages ago. Don't you realize what that means? That there is something there? Precisely. Something that they're willing to defend with their lives. I wonder what it could be. The anticipation is killing me. We can interrogate them after capturing them. I know many persuasive methods. You don't know the first thing about how these human imposters operate. You won't get anything out of them. They're probably deluding themselves into thinking they're serving a higher purpose. Torture will get you nowhere. You seem to know an awful lot about Nikkei's. Then again. I'm not surprised. Very well. We'll do it your way. I'm not sure what good an object so important to such unimportant creatures would do for us. But I'll go along with your wishes, since you will soon blossom into a creature of rapturous beauty. Optical camouflage. You do know your stuff. Yes, it's a small rapture equipped with optical camouflage. We can't make anything bigger at the moment, but it's the most surefire method for recon work. It's not completely transparent, so we shouldn't rely on it too much. The first order of business is to take control of those nearby raptures. Let them hit the castle once more, then exploit the ensuing chaos. 
to slip a few of these through. Hmm. <laughs> now you're starting to think like a human. Now then, let's find out what exactly they're hiding in that castle. Talos, check if the fortress's jamming signal has weakened. The jamming signal in the fortress has not weakened. Then how does that explain the Horde of Raptures? We've never encountered a situation like this before. We've had the odd small-scale attack or two, but never anything of this magnitude. The only explanation is that something has changed inside the kingdom. Yes, that seems right. Hold on... That's me? Yes. You're the main change that's occurred recently. Uh, I'm not working for the Raptures? I know that. So the question is, what could it be? I'm trying to think, but I can't. Jamming signals and rescue signals are still being sent out. Although the signal is being blocked by the castle walls, there is a chance that it can pass through and reach the outside. What? Why have you left that on? You did not issue a command to cease transmission. Should I cease transmission now? Ugh, yes, you idiot! Turn it off now, quickly! Roger. Stopping the generation of jamming signals and rescue signals. <sighs> Talos was sending out signals this entire time? So, is this... my fault? <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. Kilo, I think it would be best if you left the kingdom. What? I, I know I made a mistake, but if you think about it, it wasn't me, but Talos. Isn't asking me to leave a... a bit extreme? You're not used to combat. You should seek shelter in the Ark. The Ark? Your Highness, if she were to go to the Ark, the news of the Kingdom could get out. Are you going to tell? <sighs> I'll do no such thing. <sighs> Fine. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Kilo, your life is at stake here. It's time to make a decision. Either stay here, or go back. <sighs> You have to weigh your options and reach a decision. Decide whether you wish to carry your own weight in the kingdom and spend time with its subjects. Whether you can be a person of value here. Whether you can establish yourself here. Do I have to decide now? Yes. If you don't, this could end up being your final resting place. Oh. Crown, tell me that I'm needed. More importantly, do you need us? <sighs> it's easy for me to answer your question. Yes, we need you. However, it's not the opinions of others that are important, but what you need for yourself. Think about it. And once you've thought it over carefully, you'll find that you've discovered something you want for yourself. When you do, tell me what it is, and I'll make it come true. Just give me a bit more time, please. Very well. Chime, I want you and Kilo to repair the castle walls. Understood. Make it quick. I need sleep. Be more efficient. Battle's finished. Moving on. Rapture's incoming again. Everyone, prepare to defend the castle. Understood. I'll relay the message. Hmm. Is everyone ready? 
already. There should be more time in between each wave. Raptures usually move in groups. We've already fended off one assault. There shouldn't have been another one for a while. Now's not the time to ask questions. We just have to defend the castle. <sighs> Kilo, can you ask Talos to record all the movements of the raptures? Sure, th that should be possible. Is it, Talos? Affirmative. I have made records of previous skirmishes as well. I will compare them with the intel gathered from this battle. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Here they come. Get ready. I will send you off without pain. Return to where you belong! What is it? Have faith. I will protect my people. Pity down with those who would threaten the kingdom. Did you call? Yes. What is it? Yes, I've definitely become stronger. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Pity on with those who would threaten the kingdom. Well done, everyone. However, we've incurred substantial damage to the castle wall. Talos just showed me the intel he recorded. 
The Raptures are focusing their attacks on breaching the castle walls. The castle walls? Also, in comparing their movements this time around to previous confrontations, it appears as if they're following commands of some sort. Huh. You are telling me there's someone commanding these Raptures? Most likely, yes. How could a human being command Raptures? Uh, perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm merely saying that the Raptures are moving as if they are being instructed by a commanding authority. Ah, so that's what you meant. I knew that. If a Rapture horde of this size is following some sort of command structure, it could only be deferential to a Tyrant-class Rapture. Or... a heretic. <sighs> what should we do? At this point, there isn't much we can do. All we can do is continue defending this place. The latest attack nearly destroyed the Western Gate. Five onslaughts in three days. Something isn't right. We're running out of supplies. The only way we can replenish them is by heading outside the kingdom. But the Raptures are outside waiting for us. They've got us surrounded. Kilo, any update on the investigation you requested Talos to carry out? Just a moment. Talos, what's the latest on the task I assigned to you? I have confirmed that there is a heretic level entity or higher who is issuing orders to the Raptures. The tactics which the Raptures have been employing are highly unusual. Unprecedented, in fact. Do you have any specific information pertaining to this heretic? No, I cannot confirm anything about that. That's the situation. What do you think we should do? We need to formulate a strategy. Chime is the tactician. She should be able to come up with something. Your Highness, you already have a plan. That was fast. You never cease to. Our storage facility was hit by an explosive. Do surprise me. The barricades caught fire. I did my best to put it out, but I haven't had time to check if the door is secure. Let's go and check. What door are they talking about? Hmm. May the Creator bless us! Fortunately for us, the door seems largely intact. Thank goodness. Chime, you and Kilo reinforce the barricades in front of the door. Roger, we'll make it stronger than ever. Uh, what's an electronic door doing inside a castle? Hmm, Kilo, do you know why we are guarding this place? Uh, I presume it has something to do with what's beyond this door. To be honest, I've been wondering why all of you are so insistent on defending this place. It would be far easier to simply abandon it once the Raptures begin to attack in earnest. The castle is nothing but an obsolete tourist attraction. I figured there must be some reason for why you wish to defend it. You were correct, and the answer lies beyond this door. Would you like to see it? Your Highness, are you sure about this? Seeing this will help Kilo make her decision. At the very least, it will give her more options. Would you like to see it? Y yes, I'll take a look. Is that... Frost? Go inside. I'm warning you though, it's quite chilly inside. Is this a, a freezer? 
It's gigantic. What are all these boxes piled up here? Is this a ball? No, it's... This is a seed. A seed? Yes. What kind of seed? Chime will explain the details. It's a superfood. Come again? A type of sustenance that will save humanity. No one will get hurt. I wanna go home. We have won. Talos, you did well. What are you talking about? It's a type of grain that can be harvested merely three months after you plant it. It can be replanted in the same space multiple times without damaging the soil. It's virtually immune to pests and requires minimal water and sunlight to flourish. The effort required is minimal and the yield is extremely high. It also doesn't matter what kind of soil you use. It's food that will sustain the future generations of mankind. Talos, wake up. Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Tell me about the superfood. Hopes were high that it would act as the ideal form of sustenance for future generations. It was expected to solve all food shortages and change the entire dietary culture of humanity itself. However, there were numerous protests from the agricultural workers. While there are records of its development being completed, there is no subsequent record of what occurred afterward. And this is that superfood? The appearance of the seed matches the visual records which remain on file. Okay, stand by. Roger, standing by. This, we have to take this to the Ark at once. Everyone will be over the moon about this. The Ark cannot be trusted. Uh, more specifically, the Ark already has Splendamen. They have no need for this. Not only that, but large tracts of land are required in order to cultivate this. Then why are you guarding the... Uh, wait, don't tell me. That's right. That's insane. How so? Look around you. There's no way it could work. I believe it will. You have no idea how long it could take. It doesn't matter how long it takes. All the superfood in the storage container will be vital for humanity's survival when they inevitably reclaim the surface. We must therefore protect it no matter what. Why couldn't we simply continue eating Splendamen? That would work in the short term. But if you want to thrive up on the surface, you must eat something which originates from there. Not an artificial product like Splendamen. That's what this place is for. Huh. You... you really believe that? You think that humanity will reclaim the surface one day? Of course. I have never doubted it. Huh. That's why we must defend this place. That is why I have situated myself here. Hmm. Cold. Should we head out? Your Highness, I'll go and monitor the movements of the Raptures. Please do. I will see if I can find the one in command. Are you planning on breaching enemy lines? That's right. That's far too dangerous. You said it might be a heretic. So what if it is? They're no match for me when it comes to physical and mental agility. Nothing will go wrong. <sighs> Your Highness, may I go? Very well. Please be careful. Naturally. <laughs> That's what they're here to protect. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. And on top of that, the spunky one says she intends to infiltrate our lines. <laughs> The fun we're going to have. I never thought they'd deliver themselves to us on a silver platter. <laughs> Chatterbox? <laughs>
<laughs> While it brings me joy to see you laugh so heartily, perhaps you could share the reason for your laughter. It was here. It was here. Yes. There's no way the Ark won't come for her. Marion. No. <sighs> Nothing. This place, this land, this castle. But why? Because humanity's last hope for survival remains here. Where is your commander? And the other squad members? Why are you here all alone? They're all dead. Ah, uh, why don't you go back then? Because I have to protect this place. This is no place for a Nikkei to be alone. Let's go back. I'll take you. No. I must. Protect this place. I can't leave. Hmm. You must be exhausted. You're actually sleeping for once. Did I... fall asleep? Yes, and sound asleep at that. I didn't dare wake you. Thank you. Has Chime returned yet? No, not yet. What about Kilo? She's been repairing the castle walls and tending to the defense system. There doesn't seem to be any sign of an impending rapture attack. You should get some more sleep. It's okay. I have to get up. Crown? Yes? Should I go? Should I go and wipe them all out? I can do that. I won't order you to do anything. However, if that's what you wish to do, then I will assist you. But that's not what you want. Hmm. I know you don't want to face the raptures. I also know you're pushing yourself for us, so I can't demand anything from you. So you knew? Yes, I knew. Minding one's subjects is a key responsibility of any king. But if things continue like this... Hmm? Hmm. This is... Optical camouflage! This is bad. We've been compromised. Our intel has been leaked to the other side. Time. Ugh. Oh, my head. Huh? Oh. So, you're awake. There are a lot of things I want to ask you. Uh, huh? Hmm. Ah! That's to show you you're not dreaming. This is very real. Um... <laughs> oh, looks like the poor thing is frightened. Chatterbox. You should know violence is never the answer. There's two of you? How? That's not what I'd be worrying about right now, if I were you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Didn't you just say violence wasn't the answer? My apologies. I got carried away. I admire your gumption, but you're also reckless. Even though we caught you before you infiltrated our ranks, you got far. I applaud you for that. The reason we took you alive 
is simple. We have some questions to ask. So, if you'd be so kind, could you please answer a few questions? I'd like to say that if you do that for me, mm, that I'll spare your life. But I wouldn't be telling the truth. And I've never been a good liar. <gasps> Make it quick. I need sleep. I want to go home. This battle's finished. Moving on. Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? D do you think I'll tell you? Huh? Damn. Miss, I was hoping to lop your head off your shoulders. But apparently my aim isn't what it used to be. Oh well. You should be able to hear just fine with one ear. Shouldn't you? I'll ask again. Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? Ugh. Just get it over with and kill me. Ugh. I'm not going to tell you anything. Hmm. Chatterbox. This isn't as much fun as I imagined it would be. You say that. But your face says otherwise. You don't even care what it has to say, do you? You just want to play with her. All right. Guilty as charged. That's right. I'm not really interested in what's inside that castle. Finding that out will be simple enough. All I have to do is go down there myself to find out. You want to know why I'm doing this to you? I want to see you break. To see you sell your friends down the river. Unfortunately, it seems you aren't going to be very cooperative in that regard. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Speak. What is inside that castle? What is inside the cold storage? What's so important that it's making you all dig your heels in and refuse to retreat? Has anyone told you that your breath stinks? You can borrow one of my toothbrushes if you need to. <sighs> when did Marion join you? What? How do you know that name? Answer me. Mm, this is getting tedious. <sighs> Do you know what this is? It's a device intended to induce corruption. Huh? One trick from this, and you'll answer to the raptures entirely. Would you like to know a secret? You probably thought that once corruption occurs, your mind would be destroyed. But that's not true. In reality, your consciousness remains intact. Uh. However, you have no control over what you say or do. It's like you're outside yourself looking in. Unable to exert any influence over your own body. And in the end, you die by your comrades' hands. All throughout the entire process, you are painfully conscious of everything. Sounds like a miserable experience, does it not? 
Answer my question, and I won't subject you to such a torturous fate. Uh, uh, your Highness! Still mulling it over? Then I'll change the terms of the deal. If you answer, I'll spare your life. You can return to your friends and fight us once more, or run away. You'll spare me? Yes. D don't lie to me. You are no threat to us. That's why we can spare you. You'll be powerless to stop us anyway. There could be dozens of you. And you still wouldn't pose the slightest threat. So out with it. You're out of options. <sighs> Just say the words, and you can leave. I don't know what twisted sense of duty you've conjured up in your mind, but no mission is worth throwing your life away for. My mission. Such things are meaningless. No one will ever recognize you for your accomplishments, or even remember you. Just give up and abandon it. <sighs> Your Highness, my king, forgive me. <sighs> I'm leaving. What? Don't play with me, you filthy bastards! I am a subject of the kingdom and the king's proud royal aid. My mission is to bring light and glory to the entire kingdom and to live for the king. I would never abandon my mission. Only filthy turncoats like you would even consider such a heinous act. I would never betray my king. I would never stoop so low as scum like you, who don't know the first thing about pride or nobility. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have nothing to say to you. The only words I have for you are curses and insults. So go ahead and do your worst. Kill me. Corrupt me. If my king finds out something has happened to me, she'll chase you to the ends of the earth. She will have her revenge and see to it that your corpses hang at the city gates for the next hundred years. King? Did you say king? That's right. My life's purpose is to serve and worship my king. She is far stronger and nobler than any of you could possibly imagine. So stand aside or prepare to be mowed down. For my king will come here personally to take your heads as a trophy. I don't think our interrogation is going as planned. You are an obstinate fool who has been blinded by your mission. <sighs> Despite that, I am envious of you. I want this to be over quickly so I can go play with Mihara. Reloading. Reloading. Please wait a minute. The Garden of Shangri-La! No pain or despair! I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Until the very end! Let's go, Talos! Raj. This battle's finished. Moving on. What do you intend to do, Crown? I'm going to save Chime. The other side knows that she's snuck in. We have to save her. You can't do it alone. These are heretics we're talking about. Even for you, that's... I must protect my subjects, no matter what. Let me go with you. <laughs> Very well. I'll go as well. No. You two stay here and protect the kingdom. There could be another attack. Save her and come right back. Avoid any unnecessary confrontations. All right, I promise. Trom. Oh. 
What? T Taba? It, it still exists? All right, I'll be off. Get down! <gasps> What is this thing? A box? Hmm. Talos, can you scan this? Affirmative. Scanning the contents and determining the risk factor. Hmm. Crown, step back. It's dangerous. Scan completed. Hmm. What is it? No dangerous materials present. However, I suggest not opening it. Hmm. 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 Chime. Loading. The Garden of Shangri-La. No pain or despair. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Until the very end. Let's go, Talos. Roger. What? Shoot. We will also emerge victorious, so long as we never give up hope. Onward, Prom, with greater haste. They've chosen a spot where they can easily be noticed. The question is, can that be ascribed to confidence or arrogance? I knew she would come. Is that the king? I believe so. But in name only. Such impulsiveness. Rushing in as soon as we set out the bait. <laughs> now, there are only two remaining in the castle. I'll go. Very well. Come back once you've satiated your curiosity. As for me, I want to have some time to play with this so-called king. Our last plaything didn't satisfy me at all. Fine. Do as you please. Likewise. Looking forward to this. I wonder what your expression will be when you see what I've done, dear comrade. What will be the first words out of your mouth? What emotions will you reveal to me? Hello there. I'm the one who took your friend's luck.
such a thing. What are we gonna do now? Time... Time is dead. Hmm. I'm going to face the enemy. I'm going with you. No, I'll go alone. It's faster that way. Faster? What do you mean? I will bring back Chime's body. Kilo. <laughs> Kilo. What? Yes? You know as well as I that she's not dead yet. S still, th there's no repair center here. We, we don't have the proper equipment to help her. It's not over yet. I'm trusting you to take good care of her. <sighs> the incision that separated her head from her body is very clean. It is surmisable that an ultrasonic blade of some type was used on her. Why are you mentioning that now? Because if proper sutures are given, she can potentially still be revived. So long as we're connecting the nerve sensors and power sources, she should be fine. And I can do it. Talos. My backpack can also act as a brain shelter. You can put Chan there. It is only meant for emergency use, however, so it can only provide storage for a limited time. For how long? In light of Chime's current condition, a maximum of one hour from now. That's enough. I'll be right back. <sighs> the crown is, is so calm. Meanwhile, I'm so flustered. Why can't I ever control my emotions? Damn it! Calm? Is that what she looks like to you? That... that hurt. Such speed. I thought you'd be better at dodging. Are you here for revenge? Sadly, <laughs> you don't stand a chance. I won't lose. Because I won't fight. What? What do you hope to achieve by taking her back? The only good it'll do you is being able to hold a proper funeral. It took ten minutes to get here, and five minutes have passed since I arrived. Up to an hour. I still have time. Huh? That should do the job. I feel much better. Time to go. <sighs> Mark my words. I will destroy everything you hold dear. You can't take anything from me. For I have nothing. are coming. It's up to us to stop them, Kilo. Uh, but we can do it. Let's go. Together. Yes. Yes. Thankfully, there aren't that many. The two of us can handle them with no problem. Ah, uh, Kilo. I... I'm sorry. I can't get that image of Chime out of my head. I will never let that happen to you. Crown will be back any time now. All we have to do is hold out a bit longer. Uh, okay. Hmm.
I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Entity Chatterbox. What's that thing doing here? Unable to determine. I realize that. Be careful. That doesn't seem like an ordinary foe. So, you really were here. <laughs> what luck. The time has come to recover what was taken from me. of success is 4%. I know that. If anything, that's higher than I thought it'd be. We have to do what we can. This is for Crown and Chimes. It's over. No! The Kingdom! Is this where it ends? Yes, I've definitely become strong. I'm ready. Return to where you were. Let's go, Talos! Roger. Everything I could hear. Surely thou could have uttered a more impressive line. Kept you waiting, huh? And the like? She's right. We're getting less and less cool with every passing day. Snow White! Scarlet! Rapunzel! Who, who are these people? <laughs> we'll talk later. Yes, let's go. Time to put a stop to this. Pioneer Squad, ready. Encounter. I'm ready. Do it, seven doors! Fully at the owner. 
Behold my ultimate blade. I'm ready. The Garden of Sangrila! No pain or despair! Yes? What is it? I can do it! Seven dwarves! I'm ready. Return to I'm ready. The Garden of Sangra. The Onus behold my ultimate blade. Yes, I won't. Uh, are you talking to me? The O behold my ultimate blade. I can do it. Seven dwarves. Blast away! I'm the Garden of Sangrila! No pain or death! Let's go, Talos! Roger. Uh, are Talos? Yes? What is it? Yes? I guess I have no choice. My name is Snow White. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. We oh, behold my ult. I can do seven dwarves! Fully active! Blast away! I'm the Garden of Sangrila! No pain or despair! Kila. Let's go, Talos! Roger. You may have won this time, but it is no matter. I'm quite satisfied with how things are progressing. Thanks for the help. We saw your distress signal. The situation appears most dire. Where are Crown and Chime? <sighs> Things really are bad. Yes. Um, uh, who, who are these people? <laughs> that robot is talking. Oh, uh, I'm Anike, but I'm just inside the robot. Huh. Could I commandeer it as well? Uh, no. You came. Thank you. Chime! Who did this? Can she be revived? She still has a chance. Talos knows a way. Is there anything I can do to help? Talos? We need one more person to help with the sutures. Here, let me use the nano machine spray. This will greatly enhance the chances of her being revived successfully. Thank goodness. Let's hurry. What about the other parts? It's in Talos's backpack. Okay, let's get a move on. I'll come too. No, all we'll do is get in the way. We have to leave it in their hands. Uh -huh. Got it. Give me a sit rep. Art thou blind? The raptures are targeting this place. Is Chatterbox the only one leading them? No, there is one more heretic. Forsooth. This is indeed a most adverse tribulation. What's the objective? To prevent them from taking a single step in this kingdom. We must protect this place at all costs. <laughs>